Hi everybody, this is Cheryl, and um, this is uh, part two of my gift giving uh, and what I got for Christmas. Um, one of the things that my kids have learned about me is there are certain things I love to get at Christmas time. And one of them is these cherry chocolates. Powering off. And um, this year I kind of got like a ton of them. Now, first of all, my niece got me this box, which I've already dug into. And then um, one of the twins got me this box. And then Chris got me these. <laughs> so I've got enough cherry chocolates <laughs> to last me for a while. But I love these things, and my family knows this. And so this is a cheap, easy gift that they can get me and they know I'm going to be happy <laughs> with that. Now, something else that they know that I love are these. And my sister bought the chocolate hazel, uh, hazelnut. They're both chocolate hazelnut. My sister bought this to give to me. And then Chris got me the great picture he came in. So, you know, things like that. You know, I, I mentioned before, pay attention to what your family likes. My kids know. They get me those for Christmas. I'm going to be very happy, Mama. Now, you know, we also have other treats that Chris got us. You know, that uh, I think Brandon's going to do a review on those. And you can watch his video when he comes out with it on his channel. Um, another thing is these little tins of cookies that you can get. These are a dollar, okay? Now, the thing about this is you have the cookies, but I love these little tins because they're small enough that when you're done with the cookies, you can use this for a lot of things. These make very nice sewing kits, fishing kits, fire kits. You can use these to make char cloth in, store your char cloth in. You can make uh, spice kits out of these. These little tins are so perfect for doing so many different things with. So don't overlook something like this to give to people because you could not only give them the treat, but then you have something else that they can use that tin for. So pay attention to those things too. Now Angel and I worked really hard on making a bunch of pouches this year. And uh, we had the, the chance, we actually borrowed a sewing machine from her friends and we dug into our fabric and we made a bunch of drawstring bags. Now she shows on her channel um, Moonlit Angel Cosplay, uh, how, how she made these. And we put paracord in some of them. There's some that, I don't have any here, but there's some that I braided uh, jute twine and used those for drawstrings. These little ones like this, I used just uh, cotton uh, twine um, for those. And um, in some of these, I put like in these, I put a box of matches and uh, some tea lights in them um, just to replace the ones that's in your in your bags, you know, or uh, just as replacements, you know, you can always use those. I also made uh, extra paste beads for all of us um, and stuck down in, in one of the pouches. Those are always handy. Um, for all kinds of things. Angel made this so I could keep my rings in because when I do, when I go to the laundromat, I don't like wearing my rings. I take them off and this would be a good place to store my rings and I can keep it in my purse and they're gonna be safe. Um, and then she made me a matching one for some, some other use. We also made a variety of bags that we're gonna be using for different things or different sizes. Now these all have paracord in them, um, but they're different sizes and um, they can be used for a lot of things. Uh, Chris is actually planning on using one of his 
for when he goes to the, the range. And, you know, this would be a good foraging bag. You know, uh, something like that uh, are very handy. Now, we do have some um, that I think we're going to throw in uh, for giveaways and stuff this year. Uh, they won't, probably won't have paracord, they'll have ribbon or something in them, but you can replace the pair, you know, replace that. So, pay attention to our channels, you never know when you might get it back. So, um, now another thing is uh, put together fire kits. I put together these kits here. Now, this was uh, based on uh, a packet that I got from Uncle Al. And I came up with this kit. This is, a, I figure it's a two-day kit that will give you hot liquids and, um, well, any kind of drinks and, of course, a bouillon. Um, so you're going to have drinks uh, to make coffee, tea. Um, you know, you've got your flavor pouches here. Now, I'm going to go into more detail about these pouches or these kits that I put together in a future video for uh, prepping for beginners and I will explain this in detail so pay attention to my prepping for beginners series um, these kits will be explained in more detail in, uh, later on down the road now one more thing I want to show you before I move on um, to uh, my last video well, I got a couple, a few more videos, and I'll explain in a minute. Um, this is some cream. Now, there's a German lady that goes to our, our farmer's market, and she makes this. Now, this is bee cream with bee venom. <laughs> venom, sorry, bee venom. Now, I don't know if I can get that close enough. Wait a minute, let me see which way do I need to go. Okay, now she makes this and sells this. This stuff is so good for so many things, and I am not kidding you one bit. This stuff is good for everything. I, uh, she was talking about muscle pain and arthritis, and let me tell you, I can put that on my, now it's, it doesn't soak in, okay, but I can put that on my thumb where I have a lot of problems with this thumb right here and I can rub that on my thumb and um, it will cause the pain from the arthritis to go away now it depends you know it is a mess isn't it it's a mess you know it doesn't soak in but it does take the pain away so what I do is I put it on at night and I put a, a glove or something on to help keep it you know from getting all over my bedding but uh, it does help take the pain away now there's this paper um, that she sends and um, if you want to know more about this let me know and I'll, you can email me and I'll, I'll send you a, a photo of that but this is made with bee, bee cream with bee venom and um, let me tell you something else. Brandon had toothache, and I couldn't take him to the dentist. And we put just a little, little dab of this on the inside, uh, on the gums where his tooth was. It took the tooth pain, the toothache pain away. This stuff is so good for a lot of things. Um, it's. Um, I know she had it on here. Okay, here. Uh, it is um, anti-inflammatory, anti-itch cream, muscle pain, arthritis, poison ivy, swelling, rash, boils, insect bites, pulled muscles, back pain, hemorrhoids, knee pain, athlete's foot, canker sores, uh, ear infection, thyroid, burns, migraine. This, I'm not kidding you, this stuff is a miracle. And ever since I found it, I've loved it and my sister got this for me for Christmas and I was so thankful because this one is going in my bug out bag. I do have another one that's uh, it's only I've had it for almost five years and 
I've only used maybe half of it. So this lasts a long time, but this one is going in my bug out bag because I want to have this on hand because it is some good stuff. So um, let me know and any of you that do uh, um, um, you know, have bees, uh, maybe can learn this. And this lady's name, she ships it in a minimum order of six containers. And um, her name and phone number is right down there. See that? To get this stuff. Now you have to buy six of them. I don't know what it costs. It's been five years since I bought it. But this stuff is worth it. It really is worth it. All right, I'm going to get off here. I will talk to you later. Y'all have a good day. Bye.